I'm now going to take the uh, down. Uh, before I start to take off any canvases and fold them up nicely, ready for use next time, I'm going to take off all the, uh, all the guy ropes and close the windows down and pack away all the bits that might have got muddy, such as the brown sheets. Um, obviously we want to try as much as possible to put the canvas away when it's dry, um, but also keeping away um, ground moisture. Um, and ideally we really should, for long term storage, uh, we should make sure that the canvas is thoroughly dry. Okay, I'm now going to take the walls off. <clears throat> As you can see here, I've flipped over the valance so that I've exposed the wall cord here. And I've loosened, unhooked every hook all the way around except for this end and the far end. This allows me then to get hold of one end, pull it out, keep it tight and fold it as you go. So here we go. Come to this end. I'm now ready to take the roof off and to make sure that it comes off easily I'm going to turn the balance inside out all the way around so that it doesn't get caught up on the frame just a of following it out past the ground. push pole, I'm going to fold the canvas as far over as I can in one go. I'm 
try and perform In fact, it's quite useful at this stage to give yourself the chance to reach up for the step ladder just to help you tidy the top of the pole. Okay, now I've got the roof canvas folded in half. I'm going to whip it into a, into a roll. First corner, I'm going to whip over to form man. I'm going to walk round and whip over to form the first loop. And then here, I'm going to whip over to form the second loop. Okay, I'm now going to take the yoke down. As you can see, I've got the back door closed and strapped down. I'm now going to take the lintel off. The first step, the door pole clip. The second, and now comes the lintel. Strap this door post, this floating pole up, just loop off it over with one of the spray ties. Go over and under just to keep it neatly attached to that so that it's not waving about. I'm now going to free the rope so that the rope is now uh, it's not fixed up anywhere and as you can see it's um, wanting to fall down. Uh, two people are always better for this job, uh, but I'll do it on my own now to show you. The second person will get hold of this rope and will release the slip knot while they and remember if the tension is maintained the yurt won't go and then I catch the yurt allowing the rope to slip and down she comes allowing the mechanism to land on the carpet Thumb allows me to slip on the rope nice and easily. 
straight at all times. One more clip to go. And out comes the wheel. I can now clear this rope out of the way. And uh, there is a special, there is a right way of folding the rope up that makes it easier for you to find. And I'll demonstrate that now as I work my way around. Cable ties. The rubber ties, locking it down with a bow. And these black, black marks here indicate where the door will be when we reopen. So it's very important to remember to do this. Easy to find. And introduce the slip knot. Like so. Tighten the bubble up. And tie it off exactly the same way with a little peg. And I'm now ready. Yeah. 